hard. We're very glad to have Cheng Shi Wen from UCLA, and she's going to tell us about Flabio varieties of large index. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Ravi, to let me give a talk here. And uh, thanks, every person come here to the talk. Uh, today, I will talk about uh, Colabial varieties of large index. Uh, this is a joint work with uh, Luis. Uh, yeah, let me see. Uh, this is a joint work with Luis Esther and Bert Taro. And our, my talk will separate into these five parts. I will talk about uh, construct example, KLT colobial pals with large index and a colobial varieties with a large index and with, it's not colobial pals. And it's varieties with terminal or uh, canonical singularities. And um, um, then I will look at, we will come to look at some notable topological properties of our examples. Then we come to uh, minimal log discrepancy. We will look at some Colabial varieties with small minimal log discrepancy. In final, we will come to uh, KLT Colabial varieties instead of PELS with large index. Now uh, let's first look at the um, definition of Colabial variety. A normal project variety is called Colabial if its canonical divisor is Q linear, linear equivalent to zero. That means some multiple of the canonical class is linear equivalent to zero. And we are interested in the smallest possible integer such that the, the multiple of the canonical class linear equivalent to zero. And that smallest integer we call the index of the variety. Then here is an example of a um, some uh, smooth surface. This is smooth surface of uh, index six. Uh, it's a product of two smooth ellipse curve and a caution by a cyclic group action. The cyclic group of order six act by translation on one factor and act, act as automorphism of uh, order six on another factor. And the, in dimension three, we have a smooth colloquial um, threefold of uh, index 66. It's a product of a smooth K3 surface with a smooth elliptic curve. Cautioned by a cyclic group of order 66 and the action the act by translation on the second factor. We will give more details and uh, explanation about these two examples in the second part. And more general, we look at Colabial Pell. It's a normal project variety with an effective Q divisor such that the uh, canonic class plus the divisor D is Q linear equivalent to zero. With some suitable assumption, assumption of the singularities, the index is expected to be bounded in each dimension. Conjecture in this direction go back to Alex F, Merkernan, Prohorov, and Yanish. This is our um, yeah, this is the uh, index conjecture. We are looking at all the KLT Colabial pals of a given dimension n, and the coefficient of the divisor is in a given set of rational numbers, which satisfy the descending chain condition. Then there exists a constant only depends on the dimension n and the coefficient set such that this, con this multiple of the canonical class plus the divisor is linear equivalent to zero. Yanni Shui uh, showed that the conjecture holds in dimension less than equal than three and holds in dimension four for KLT Colabial pals with boundary divisor non-zero. And Hick and McCarnan show that uh, for all the KLT Colabial pals we mentioned in the conjecture, that means we have a given dimension and a coefficient in a given this is set. Actually, the coefficient is only in a finite subset of the of I. And we are interested in finding 
KLT call BL pairs with standard coefficients. Standard coefficients means the coefficient of the boundary, boundary divisor is one minus one over B. B is a positive integer. And uh, uh, this kind of uh, KLT colloidal pair always can arise as a variety quotient by a finite group action. A special one is the index one, index one cover quotient by a cyclic group action. Yeah, index one cover of, a pair, uh, of this pair is a project variety X prime with a canonical singularity and the canonical class is linear equivalent, is trivial. And, and the, co the, the pair is just the quotient of the index one cover by an uh, cyclic group, mu m. m is the order of the cyclic group, which is the index of the KLT Calabial pair. And the cyclic group acts faithfully on the holomorphic N form. In dimension two, we call this action R, we call this action purely non symplectic action. And we can have a relation between the um, canonical class and the pullback of the canonical class plus the divisor D. If we have an irreducible divisor inside of X prime, um, uh, and there is a non-trivial subgroup in, of the cyclic group act identity on this irreducible divisor. Then in front of image of the irreducible divisor, the coefficient is one minus one over B. Here B is just the, the order of the, sub, the subgroup that act identity on the divisor. So let's look at an example. This is a in dimension one, the KLT copy of pals. Uh, the largest possible index is six, which is uh, achieved by uh, this example with uh, three distinct points and the standard coefficients. The index one cover of this pal is the unique elliptic curve uh, with an automorphic group of order six. It's generated by uh, minus zeta. Zeta is a cubic root of unity. So look at these two points. Each of the point, each of this point is an irreducible divisor on the curve. And the stabilizer of this point is has order three. So in front of the image P2, we have a coefficient of one minus one over three. This is two over three. And a similar look at this point. This point has stabilizer group of order uh, of order uh, of order six. So in front of image, the coefficients one minus one over six, and similar for these three points. Okay, uh, our construction of example will using the weighted projective hypersurface. So I will give a. Uh, some background of a uh, weighted projective hypersurface. For positive integer, a weighted projective space is uh, a fine space without the origin cautioned by the multiplicative group action. The group action is given by a scale, given by a scalar. Here, A0, AN is the weights of the weighted projective space. And the hypersurface of uh, degree D is given by a polynomial of degree D. It, we say the hypersurface is quite smooth if it's a fine comb um, inside, of my, inside of the affine space, it's a smooth outside the origin. Then it has caution singularity, hence KLT. Oh, I will give the concrete definition of the KLT singularity later in the later part. Here, a good example of KLT singularity is the caution singularity. Caution singularity is always the KLT singularity. Okay, if the uh, hypersurface is well formed and the quiz is smooth, then we have the adjunction formula. The uh, canonical class is the wild divisor associated to this integer, the degree sum uh, subtract the sum of all weights. For example, this one. So if we want a Calabial hypersurface, that implies the degree is equal to the sum of all weights. 
this is an example. This is hypersurface of degree 12 inside of this weighted project space given by a polynomial of degree 12. There are some criteria to check uh, hypersurface quasi smooth. Um, and, uh, and, and at one situation, it's uh, definitely quasi smooth. If it's a very good situation that every weight divide the degree. And at this case, well, we let the i equals to d over a i. If we want the hypersurface to be colloquial, then the reciprocals of the number b i add up to equals to one. That's the motivation of uh, why we use the several sequence to construct examples. Uh, several sequence have uh, some similar properties. It's start from the number two and uh, given by this recurrence relations. The first several terms are two, three, seven, 43 and uh, 1907. And the numbers grow double exponential. Each number in the sequence is equal to the product of the numbers previous to it and, and then plus one. Hence, we can get any two numbers in the sequence is parallel call prime. And there's another important properties for the uh, several sequences. We look at the reciprocals of, uh, of the numbers in the sequence. They add up. Um, very close to one, less than one, but tends to one very quickly. Okay, and uh, our destination is construct KLT color BL pals with large index. And the, our idea is uh, take the mirror symmetry of the color BL varieties with small volume. Uh, this is an example we find in our former work in 19, uh, 2021. And um, this is a hypersurface of degree m. For each integer n, we look at the uh, number m is equal to sn minus one. Product with two sn minus three. This is the this is the number inside of serial sequence, and the d is two sn minus two. And then we consider this hypersurface inside of the weighty project space given by this width. And the, um, this hypersurface is defined by this polynomial. The volume of the O1 is less than one over two to the power two to n. It's very small, um, double exponential small. It's the conjecturally minimal volume of all the canonical Calabria unfolds with the ample wild divisor O1. And we will take the mirror symmetry of these things. So what's the mirror symmetry I mean here? Um, I will look at, we, we look at mm, a special kind of polynomial. The numbers of the monomials in the polynomial equals to the numbers of the variables. And it can be described by a n by n matrix. You can see that every um, entrance in the matrix just uh, remember the uh, exponents. For example, the first row of the matrix is just the, the exponents of the first monomials. And uh, when the matrix is invertible, the potential can determine a hypersurface in the weighted project space. That means we need to determine the weights and uh, also the degree. Now, how to de determine this, the determinants this hypersurface? We take the inverse of the matrix and uh, some uh, Calculating the sum of the entrance of the ith row, it gives us the number qi. Then we take the least common denominator of qi, that will be the degree of the hypersurface. And what's the width of the weighted project space? It's just the, the, the number d times each of this qi. Then the potential w equals zero determines a degree D hypersurface in this weighted project space. If we take the transpose of the matrix A and it gives us another potential, we call it W hat. And the hypersurface defined by W and the W hat are Bergland 
who push Chloe's mirror to each other. So look at here, this is the hypersurface with, uh, with small volume. The potential corresponding hypersurface with small volume and then look at the corresponding matrix. You can see that the last, uh, for example, the last monomial and uh, remember the exponent is one and, and similar for other positions. Then we take the position transpose of the matrix, we get another one and this matrix give a corresponding to this potential. This new, this new potential um, will determine a hypersurface of degree D inside of this weighted project space. And this is a quasi smooth hypersurface, has canonic singularity and a trivial canonic class. And the, uh, we know that this hypersurface is mirror Berkland Hubbush Cloud is mirrored to the hypersurface with small volume. And this one will be, this hypersurface will be the index one cover of a, our KLT Calabial pals with large index. I will um, talk about this soon. Uh, our destination is to find large index example. So we're interested to look, look at uh, large cyclic group act on it. And the um, hypersurface given by potential, there is an easy combinatorial way to compute big cyclic group act on that. So that's the advantage of using the mirror symmetry here. See here, this, uh, we can find a big cyclic group act on this witty project space given by this action. And the hypersurface X prime is the environment under this action. Then quotient by this action, we get the KLT Colobial pair of large index M. The index M is just the, the uh, degree of the, a, the corresponding um, examples with small values. So the mirror symmetry related to the examples with uh, small volume to the example with large index. So uh, maybe I have, I have a, que uh, a question. Maybe we'll see the theorem first. Uh, maybe see the theorem first. I'll ask the question. Yeah. Uh, is it on in the chart? Uh, 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 or, or you could go. Uh, well, really, the, the, the question is: so you start off with the these uh, with these very special things from your previous work, which already seemed like they come out of nowhere, and then for some reason you decide to take the mirror to produce this, these other amazing examples. And you could, I could believe I could check, in fact, you've explained how to check by hand what you're saying is true, but how would you think of that? Where would this come from? Well, why would you, why would you think of taking the mirror to these uh, previous, to the, uh, to, to the previous clavier house to get these examples, to the previous hypersurface? Yeah, that's a great question. And the, the idea of taking mirror is just that when we uh, want to look in, uh, looking at the examples of uh, uh, Calabria, when we're looking, uh, when we're during our process to find an example of uh, uh, Calabria varieties, pals with large index, we find uh, um, some patterns in the weights and that motivate us to relate to the former example we find. And we have some background of mirror symmetry things and we check, oh yeah, it's just the related by mirror symmetry. So, so really it was, so it's really that these extremal examples, you notice the pattern and guess that they might line up and then try to make it work. Yes, yeah, we just, yeah, we just, uh, uh, we first look at, want to uh, find some, uh, Hyper, weighted, hyper, weighted project space with uh, some kind of very uh, careful cho choice of the weights so that it will have a, a large cyclic group action on it. Yeah, and, uh, and, we look at the, and we look at the polynomial um, given, this, uh, given this hypersurface and uh, we see that the polynomial will be like very special form 
uh, it's very easy to, for us to fight cyclical, like the, uh, the potential is the um, polynomial with the same numbers of the monomials with the equals to the numbers of variable. That kind of polynomial is easy to, for us to fight the uh, cyclic group action. Yeah, and the, and the relate that thing, that, that number appears like the numbers of the weights and the numbers of the uh, exponential appears in the polynomial. Let us to uh, relate it to the former example we find in uh, find a for general type type surface with small volume. Yeah. Thank you. Um, any question? <laughs> so let's continue. Okay, thanks. Great. Then, okay, now let's give a simplified description of a of our chaotic color of tau. And we know it's a quotient by a hypersurface, um, co uh, hypersurface quotient by a cyclic group. And we can describe it as a pal. It's a, the variety is this weighty projective space. Uh, the weight T appears in minus one time. And uh, um, the divisor is, is this one with standard coefficient, each of this D d1 to dn is given by yi equals to zero, and the d0 is given by this hypersurface. And the pal is a KLT Calabria pal of dimension n with standard coefficients of, uh, of this index uh, growth double exponential. And we conjecture that this number is the largest possible index among all the KLT Calabria pals with standard coefficients. It, it is true in dimension two. In dimension two, this is our example. It's the, this is the pal with index, index one cover. This pal has index 66. And, and it, 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 this hypersurface is the mirror symmetry to this hypersurface. The two polynomial, the corresponding matrix are transposed to each other. Yeah, and in dimension two, we have a, um, exactly two KLT Calabial pals of this largest, uh, largest index, largest possible index 66. One is, the, is this pal we just mentioned, and the index one cover is this hypersurface with a nodal point. And another one is obtained by, we take a, Resolution of uh, we, uh, we take the minimal resolution of this hyper of this hypersurface X prime just below up this nodal point, we get a smooth K three surface, and the group action can lift to this minimal re resolution, cautioned by the then cautioned by the group action we get another KLT Calabria pulse of uh, index sixty six, and Machida and Okoso show that this hypersurface. The, uh, the column of curves for this hypersurface is generated by the minus two curve and, a, a little, and an elliptic curve with self intersection zero and Picard rank two. And these two exam examples are related by a blob. Uh, later, if, if we have enough time, we will, we will give more explanation of why um, it has the largest uh, index 66. Uh, there are exactly these two examples. Okay, and the, um, besides KLT Calabial pals, we are also interested in finding example Calabial varieties with other kind of singularity like terminal singularity and a canonic singularity. So I will give some background of the uh, singularity. We look at the normal product project variety with a factor divisor on it. And for each of the divisor over X, that means it's a divisor in, on, in a higher model of X. Y has a proper birational morphism to X. And for each of the prime divisor on Y, we uh, can define a log discrepancy of, e, of this divisor respect to the power. It's defined to be the number one plus the coefficient of the difference of these two divisor. And the pair is called log canonical if the 
uh, log discrepancy is larger than or equal than zero for all the prime, I, prime divisors over X. And the KLT, if um, the, the log discrepancy larger than zero for all the prime divisors over X. Similar for some similar definition for canonical and terminal. There is a factor we use if X is smooth and the, the divisor is simple normal crossing, then the power is KLT even and only if all the coefficients in the divisor D is less than one. For example, uh, let's recall our KLT color bill power, so it's large index. Uh, it is KLT, we just uh, need to check uh, in every coordinate chart because the KLT properties is preserved by finite group action and, and the group action is probably in code dimension one. Um, we check KLT in, in the coordinate chart. Here, AI is the weight of the YI. And uh, we only need to show that the uh, fine column over the uh, pal is KLT outside the origin. Here, this F is the this divisor with standard coefficient. Each of this Fi is con over Di. It's easy to see that um, F0 to Fn are smooth and transverse outside the origin. So this is this is a F is a symbol normal crossing divisor outside the origin. Okay, so we can see the pal is KLT. Now we are going to construct KLT color varieties with uh, large index and KLT varieties with terminal singularity. It's not PAL, but just, just a variety with terminal singularity. We need this um, equivalent terminalization. We need this proposition. Once we have a variety with a group action on it, we can have a, a birational morphism from another variety and the group action leads to, to this variety. The, the variety Y has terminal singularity and a nap canonical class. If variety X is canonical, then this morphism is crepent morphism. In dimension two is just our minimal resolution. How to get this variety Y? We just take uh, first take the G equal variant resolution of X, and then um, use the method of Burkhard, Cassini, Haken, and Markerna. We can run G equal variant minimum model program uh, for Z over X. Then we get this Y. Okay. Now we will uh, construct K out. We will construct Kolbe varieties uh, with terminal singularity of large index in dimension N. This example will based on our KLT colloquial pals of large index in dimension one less. We just look at the uh, starting with the index one cover of uh, our KLT colloquial pals of large index in dimension N minus one. It's this hypersurface I just uh, recall here. This is the hypersurface of the uh, uh, given by this polynomial has a cyclic group action. Yeah, now we come to get terminal Calabria varieties in dimension N. We take the G equivalent, mu M equivalent terminalization of the hypersurface. This is index one cover in dimension N minus one. And then we pick the elliptic curve. There's a point of order M on it. Then we consider the cyclic group act on the product. It act on the uh, elliptic curve by the translation. So this action is freely on the second factor. So the cyclic group is act freely on the product. So uh, cautioned by the cyclic group, we didn't change the singularity of the product. It's had the same, same singularity as Y. And this quotient uh, is a, uh, terminal colloquial unfold with large index here. So this example um, has dimension, this colloquial variety has dimension one larger than the KLT colloquial pal, which has the uh, same index.
in dimension two and three. Uh, this is the actually smooth, smooth varieties. And we conjecture that this number is the largest possible index among all the terminal Calabria varieties of dimension n, and uh, also among all the canonical Calabria varieties of uh, dimension n. This conjecture is held in lower dimensional case. We have a certification in lower dimension when dimension equals two and three. Uh, that's this two example we just mentioned at the beginning of our talk. The first one is the by a elliptic curve surface. It's a product of two uh, smooth elliptic curve quotient by a cyclic group. It has index six and the in dimension three. This is the smooth K3 surface um, product with the elliptic curve, smooth elliptic curve, quotient by the uh, cyclic group action. The cyclic group has order 66. Okay, and in dimension four, uh, we uh, the the former proposition result give us an example with large index 40, 34, a six. But we don't. But we don't know whether this index is the optimal, is the largest possible in, uh, index in dimension four. But the good things you can see that uh, the index increase very fast. What, what was the thirty four eighty six? Had uh, had someone stumbled upon that before, or is that the first time we've seen this variety in the world? Um. The this number is just a come in yep. come with when we choose n equals to four, but uh, but but that example so the 66 had happened that those two k3 surfaces were known before, and it's neat that you saw them again, yeah. In this case, for n equals four, there was no was this the first time has, yep. has this has this appeared ever before, or is this the first time we've seen the variety? This, uh, the, uh, this exam these examples. Yeah, uh, I and thank you. Um, that's a good question. I see, uh, as far as I know, this is the first time we uh, have this kind of a large index example. Yeah, um, even though we didn't know whether this is optimal example, but this in large index ex example, we just uh, with, uh, with such kind of, such a, this number is appears here. Um, is the first time we get this large index example. Mm, any question? Okay, then I will continue. The, uh, the, the, the interesting question is we are uh, want to see whether we can find smooth Calabria varieties of large index in higher dimension, like dimension larger equal than four. And, mm. Okay, let's come to some note for topological properties of our, our examples. This is the uh, hypersurface with, uh, the, this is the hypersurface of the, this is index one cover of the, of our KLT Calabria pairs of large index in dimension three. And it, this is the, mirror symmetry to it. It has the, it's the small volume example. And the uh, Kreppen resolution of this hypersurface has the most negative OLAR characteristics, minus six, six zero, uh, nine, six, zero, among all the known KLT Calabria three folds. And uh, this hypersurface has the largest OLAR char char uh, characteristics among all the, Known Calabria three folds, and and we also have another hypersurface with all our characteristic zero, but this three hypersurface has the same sum of bad numbers. You can see this picture. The three point, the three example corresponding to the three point in the top of the picture, top of this graph. This graph described the Hodge numbers of the. Uh, Calabria three folds found by Prusser and Scarks. X axis is the OLR characteristics, the horizontal, and the vertical uh, Y axis is the sum of Betty numbers. 
So you can see this three example, the, this point has the negative, negative 960, which is the corresponding to this hypersurface. And uh, this point has the most positive OLR characteristic here. And the middle one has the OLR characteristic zero, but the sum of the beta numbers of these three hypersurfaces is the largest among all, all the examples. Okay. So this observation in dimension three fit into the pattern that holds for all the dimension n. And uh, since we don't have a crepent resolution for dimension larger than three, we consider uh, for the general, generalization, we consider chain right all default cohomology. But it's uh, also interesting to just uh, find the crepent resolution for the concrete example because our example are all given by uh, hypersurface in weighty project space. This is um, uh, probably a point to me sometime. Yeah, thanks. Okay, um, let's look at the orbifold Hodge diamonds of these three hypersurface in dimension three. The sum of the bet numbers is the largest among all the copy of three folds. And we generalize the situation in dimension three to all the dimension. We get three uh, hypersurface, Columbia hypersurface with respect. They expect to have the ex most extreme uh, cohomology. The first family is just the index one cover of our KLT Columbia pairs with large index. And the second uh, family is the Fermat hypersurface, which is self mirror and they are just they are index one cover of the of a KLT copy of help with conjecturally smallest minimal log discrepancy. Uh, I will uh, mention this in the next part. And the third family is just a mirror to the first one. It's just our small volume example. So that's very interesting. Uh, three families, and we compute the all default uh, betting numbers of a uh, this three hypersurface. And uh, uh, yeah, when n equal three is just the former three examples in dimension three. And uh, uh, if the dimension n is even number, this equals to all default, all our characteristics. If n is odd, we get the all our characteristic have this um, pattern. It's just uh, like what happens in dimension three. We have a very negative OLR characteristics and very positive OLR characteristics and one with, very, with zero OLR characteristics. Okay, and uh, um, since in dimension three, we have this phenomenon um, the sum of the better numbers, the largest among all the um, known KLT colloquial varieties. And also uh, we have this phenomenon of the most negative and positive all our characteristics. So we, we conjecture that in higher dimension, this is also true. The largest possible sum of the better number for a project variety with pro of quotient singularity and trivial canonical classes is this number. And also the smallest possible OLR characteristics and the largest OLR characteristics. Those numbers are very large. They are just constructed uh, uh, with the cell element numbers in the cell phone sequence. Okay. Um, we also look at colloquial varieties with. Uh, small minimal log discrepancy. This is a thing to minimal log discrepancy is a, uh, is, a, is a way to describe, is a good way to describe uh, the singularities. So let's give a, a definition of that. For every point in the variety, we look at the minimal log discrepancy of the pair at this point. It's just the infimum of the log discrepancy 
uh, of of all the prime idea over the divide over x with with center equals to the closure of the point. So the center of the divisor is just the means the image of the divisor under the uh, proper birational morphism. And the way um, look at the global MLD of the pair is just the infimum of all the MLD at every point of, in this variety. The MLD can describe the singularity. If the MLD is larger than equal than zero, then this pair is log canonical. If MLD is larger than zero, this pair is KLT. So actually we have a positive lower bound of the MLD for all the KLT. There is positive lower bound for the MLD uh, of uh, every KLT uh, colloidal pair with standard coefficients. This is implied by the result of the Haken McKernan sheet. They show that for all the KLT colloidal pairs with a given dimension and the coefficient is in a, a fixed uh, uh, set of uh, rational number satisfied DCC, then the coefficient is actually inside of finite set of i, which is we mentioned at the beginning of, uh, of the talk. There still needs some argument, but symbol from here to here. And Ji Hao Liu give a KLT colloidal pair with very small MLD. The example is the uh, project space of dimension n and hi are general hypersurface in the project space. This example is just a slightly change of class example. Class uh, formerly has a pair with standard coefficients. The canonical class plus D is ample and it has the conjecturally the smallest volume. So the change is just the last coefficient. A slight change of loss coefficient to give this example from the colossal example. And since the variety X is smooth and the hypersurface are a simple number crossing, uh, the minimum log discrepancy is equal to the minimal number, the smallest number of one of the coefficients of each of this hypersurface. We conjectured that this MLD minimal log discrepancy is the smallest possible among all the KLT colloidal pairs with standard coefficients of the dimension n. This is true in lower dimension. We know it's true in dimension two, in dimension one and two. Uh, one has in dimension one we have MLD one over six. In dimension two, MLD is one over fourteen. This is this is true because we will use the a uh, Brandhaus Hoffman's classification of a purely non symplectic cyclic group action on K3 surface. We can prove it. Uh, later, we will have, we will see some similar idea. Okay, now uh, we, we can come to look at KLT Calabria routes in dimension two, uh, just KLT Calabria surface of large index or with. Um, smallest MLD. Mm, our idea is here, well, for a KLT colloidal surface, we take the index cover of it. It's just a canonical, a variety with canonical singularity and, um, and the canonical class is trivial. We have the cyclic group X freely, freely in call dimension one on the variety Y. And it's also a purely non symplectic group action. And we take the minimal resolution of this uh, index one cover. The group action can lead to the minimal rec resolution. We use the proposition uh, one, we just mentioned proposition one. Um, this is resolution is just a crepent, crepent resolution because uh, Y has canonical similarity. And here Z is a smooth project surface with a trivial canonical class. And by the classification of smooth project surface with trivial canonical class, the minimal resolution Z is a K3 surface or a abelian surface. By Block and John, we know if Z is a abelian surface, we cannot have a 
order larger than six cyclic group have such kind of action on it. So in order to find large index example, we, we just assume the, we, we just look at the case, Z is a smooth K3 surface. And then we get example uh, with the largest, with the smallest minimal log discrepancy among all the KLT Columbia surface. And the MLD is one over 30. We just use the Brandhaus Hoffman's classification of a purely non symplectic cyclic group action on K3 surface. There ex do exist a one uh, K smooth K3 surface with uh, such kind of group action by cyclic group order 13. And the, the fixed locals consist of a smooth rational minus, minus two curve and nine other points. And uh, we contract this minus two curve. We can get a K3 surface, but with canonical singularity. Um, and the cyclic group act freely in quarter dimension one on this K3 surface one. Then caution by this group action, we get the KLT Colobial surface of index 13. And concretely, the index one cover is this hypersurface. Um, and the minimal resolution is just to blow up the, the A4 singularity on the hypersurface. This hypersurface given by this polynomial that has the action of the cyclic group of order 13. Okay, then we can compute the MLDs one verse 13. Compute the MLD of this uh, surface, which is the, we can look at the MLD of this PAL. This PAL is the cyclic group act on the smooth K3 surface. And uh, mm, we get the MLD PAL is just a positive integer divide 13. This is because in the definition of the MLD, we, we need to look at log discrepancy. And in log discrepancy, we pull back a Q Cartier divisor. And 13 times this Q Cartier divisor is Cartier, then we can get the equation of a, a with integer coefficients. Then we divide by 13. So that, that's the reason. And remember that the curve C is fixed by the group. So in front of image of the curve, we have the coefficient one minus one over 30. So it's 12 over 30. So it gets the MLD for the generic point of the curve is one over 30. Together, combine all the three, we get MLD is one over 30. And one over 30 is the smallest MLD among all the KLT carbial surface. The, the reasons we use the still use the Brandhaus Hoffman's classification of the smooth K3 surface uh, has a purely non symplectic group action of cyclic group. We look at uh, cyclic group action of, of different kind of order. So if the group has order, cyclic group has order 14, then it will give us a, a MLD 1 over 7. If the order of the group is 17 or 19, then the MLD is two over M. All this number are larger than one over 13. And if the order of the cyclic group larger than or equal than 14, not equal to 14, 17 and 19, 17 and 19, then there exists a curves of genus larger than zero on the surface fixed by non-trivial subgroup. And, and we know that we can only uh, contract smooth rational curves. So if we have genus larger than zero curve, which cannot be contract, the group will not act freely in dimension one on one. So the quotient by the group action, we cannot get a carbial variety, so we just get a pair. Okay, and then uh, we can get uh, the smallest, uh, the largest index among all the KLT Colobial surface. Then quantify the uh, example, it's a smooth project K3 surface with a 
cyclic group of order 19x purely non subjective light. Um, this smooth K3 surface is just the minimal resolution of this hypersurface of a degree 10 inside of this weighted projective space. And uh, uh, just blow up the A2 singularity. And this cyclic group acts freely in co dimension one on the hypersurface. So, quotient by the group action, we get the KLT Corbier surface of index 16. Next question is uh, why 19 is the largest index? Um, because by Brandhaus Hoffman's classification, of a finite group action on K3 surface. If the order of the group larger than 19, we will have a genus larger than zero curves on the surface fixed by non-trivial subgroups. So the quotient will not give us Calabial varieties, it will give us, only give us pairs. So the, mm, so yeah, because it cannot act freely in dimension one. So 19 is the largest index. And later we generalize in the things to higher dimension the patterns of the weights. Actually, one question here on this page. So each of these examples that you get of the map that are extremal, are they in your family? This is one where it's Kondo's example, uh, but, or is this one that also comes up in your sequence as well or not? Like a lot of the previous ones come from your constructions coming out of the Sylvester sequence. Is that the case of most of these, all of these, some of these? Uh, this example is coming. This is just the, our uh, coming from the, uh, the uh, yeah, this is not, not coming directly from the Silvo sequence, but, um, uh, but when we generalize this dimension two case to, dim to higher dimension, Example, we we actually we get examples in higher dimension or uh, KLT carbial varieties not pair. Um, formerly we get KLT carbial pairs with large index, and then we continue this uh, example. We get higher dimensional KLT carbial varieties with large index that also constructed with um, hypersurface in weighted participant that weights which is still related to the uh, civil sequence. Okay, but, but but this but this condo example is actually better than the is more extremal than the ones that you get from the Sylvester sequence. Yeah, this is the. Uh, what do you mean by better? Um, is it uh, so the largest index of any KLT CY surface is nineteen, and this example is not one of your series of examples in all dimensions. Yeah, uh, it's not the, uh, the, if we look at the KLT call VL pals uh, yeah. with large index, that index- Then yours is, then yours is the best. Yeah, that, that index in, in dimension two, uh, the largest index is 66, which is right. larger than 19. That is because uh, here, the reason is because we, uh, when, the, in, when, when the order of the group larger than 19, the, uh, we will have a, Genus larger than zero uh, curves on the surface, which fixed by the group action. So quotient by the group action, we only can get a pal. So that's the reason why the KLT Calabial pals has a larger index than our KLT Calabial surface. Great, thanks. Yeah, thank you. Any question? Oh, yeah, let me see. Thank you. That's that's all the all the things. Mm -hmm. Great. So now we can thanks. We can unmute ourselves and, and thank Cheng Shi for uh, a spectacular series of examples and, and a great talk.